Hi, this is a uh, short example on partial year depreciation using the sum of the year's digits. Let's look at a problem. Uh, this particular company bought equipment for 320160 on October 1st. It's estimated to have a useful life of five years and a salvage value of 20160 uh, We're going to compute depreciation for the five years. Uh, based on the sum of the year's digits. The first thing we need to do is calculate the sum of the year's digits fraction. There's two ways to do that. We can either add the digits 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 15 or we can use the formula n equals, or excuse me, n times n plus 1 divided by 2. In this case that's 5 times 5 plus 1 divided by 2 which of course is 6 5 times 6 is 30, divided by 2 is 15. So we can arrive at the, the sum of the year's digits of 15 either way. Then I need to look at my depreciation. Um, for sum of year's digits, we take the cost, 320,160, minus the salvage value of 20,160, times the um, remaining year's depreciation divided by the sum of the year's digits. So in year one, it's five fifteenths. In year two, it's four fifteenths, three fifteenths, two fifteenths, one fifteenths, etc. And so what I get is 100,000 of depreciation, 80, 60, 40, 20, for a total depreciation of, of, of 300,000. Uh, and if this uh, asset had been purchased on January 1st, that is exactly what the answer to this problem would be. But if you recall, this asset was was purchased on October, or, yeah, October 1st. And so what we really have, um, and the way I like to set up a table is this next slide here. So what I have done is I've said, okay, for my first year, I know I'm going to have $100,000 of depreciation. However, uh, three months of that is going to fall in 2010 and nine months of that is going to fall in 2011. So I take the 100,000 times 3 twelfths to get 25,000 and then uh, the remainder or the 100,000 times 9 twelfths gives me 75,000. So even though my first year is 100,000, three months of that is in 2010, nine months of that is in 2011. Then I go on to my next year. I know that the next year is 80,000. But that next year, three months of that is in 2011, and nine months of that is in 2012. And so I go through that same kind of a process, and then I look to see how much depreciation I would book for the, for the year. In 2010, it would be 25,000. In 2011, it would be 95,000. 75,000 from the rest of year one, or nine months of year one, and, um, 20,000 from three months of year two. And so I would continue on uh, figuring those out and that's how much depreciation then I would book for each one of the years uh, using the sum of the year's digits in this example. I hope this helps you. This table that I set out like this is something I also do when I do double declining balance. So I figure out my total depreciation and then how much of that goes in one year and how much of that goes into the next year. All right, good luck.